Yo guys, welcome on in. Kuros here, and uh, we're going to go over the 2.4 live stream, which kind of touched on a little bit of 3.0 as well. And there is a ton to break down. I'm not going to cover everything, but I do. I am going to show uh, a decent amount of all the footage, some new characters, some new locations, uh, some official sponsors. Mmm. Meaty. Burger. Delicious. All right, guys, so ch check the chapters down below and uh, let's get started, shall we? Like and subscribe. All right, before we get started, and obviously you can see Icarus on the screen here, I want to hit you guys with my big tip. Big tip! Which, with how fast we're moving in global with acceleration, and if you've been to my live streams, I talked about how I'm really probably only pulling Fenrir as we move forward. It, it becomes harder to pull any of these characters with how good the 2.4, the 3.0 characters and, the, and all the designs and characters that are coming out, Fiona and a few others. So I just be very careful pulling going forward. I'm just going to continue to say it. So first off, we have our, uh, a new character called Icarus. Uh, Icarus appears to be a ice based uh, character and attack unit. Uh, now, Icarus is not coming out directly at 2.4, uh, which launches 12.15. Uh, Land will come first, and we don't have any gameplay footage, unfortunately, of, of Icarus. But um, I'm sure we'll get more as the time goes on. Now, we can take a look at uh, a video that I've already put out uh, earlier today. Is uh, Land is coming out first at 2.4 and her her aesthetics are absolutely amazing she's a fire unit she's actually a fire tank unit um so it'll be very interesting to see where fire goes from here uh i could see it going many different ways maybe it brings huma back into the picture maybe it does like linyi saki uh um uh lan now it depends on if she brings balance buff or whatever buff she might bring we don't have any stats for her yet but her attack animations everything like that are absolutely uh crazy i'm probably gonna pull for her mainly because i love fire and i'll try and pair with ruby i don't know if it's gonna work out very well but we'll see what we can do there all right next up on the list they did announce a sneak peek to 3.0 now we're gonna watch this uh together but i'll have the link down below if you want to watch this without me rambling above it our good friend gateo did the english subs for us so i'll have the link to his channel down below Definitely go check him out. He's an amazing content uh, content creator and covers Tower of Fantasy in complete detail. Produced by Oda. I need that chick in my life. Both of them. Lee 先生, Paintbrush. Wow, lots of new characters. Wow, look at that. This is the new area. Crazy. Quick. Now, obviously, uh, there's a lot to take in here. Uh, so let's go let's go right about here. This seems about right. We obviously can see Zeke there. Zeke has got this. I, I believe that's gotta be a three-star skin right there, right? That sword looks wickedly cool. It kind of looks like the Buster Sword, honestly, but um it'll be interesting to see what element he plays at and what he brings to the table now this new area looks absolutely bonkers i don't even know what to take in here obviously there's there's a sky mountain area there's um some 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 uh festivity uh, uh vehicles moving around stuff like that and then you have all these different little islands so it'll be crazy to see how open world this is and how big and massive this is and uh, I, I, I feel there's going to be a lot of mobile phones that are blowing up right about now. All right. Then if we rewind here, we saw a lot of new characters. 
Uh, now, the one character I want to point out real quick is I obviously don't know her name. Um, this is not Fiona, which is one of the other characters that was in the trailers before. But uh, anytime there's a main character like this, like a Lin Yi, she's probably going to be a special element. Uh, they might introduce a new element that makes her very unique to the new uh, uh, area. So um, she, mm, I, I want to know more. I want to know more. So quickly going through this, we have a, we have a new uh, character right there. Don't know enough about that character. Obviously, Lan, uh, Lan or Lan is right behind her. Uh, you can see there with the umbrella. And then we saw we saw essentially two other characters. Let me rewind here. We have uh, this new girl with the paintbrush. You can see Zeke in the background over there. And then we have we have this new character as well. So we don't know if all these characters are playable, but a lot of cool characters to uh, to save for Tower of Savings. Let's go back to the live stream. All right, before we get to the new blah, 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 before we get to the new underwater area, which is I wanted to leave that to the end because there's a lot to take in. Uh, we have the new packages. I'm always gonna point this out, right? New patch equals they get ten. Uh, CN server gets ten red nucleuses. They get a thousand dark crystals and they get some gear. Uh, once again, one thing that we do not get in global. So I would love to see this matched at some point. The other thing I, the other thing I'd like to point out is that apparently they have a new, uh, login. All right. I guess we're going to clip that out. Uh, apparently they have a new login system all the way up until Christmas where you essentially, if you log in every single day during these time frames, I did not hit play. Hello. Wow. Uh, stop it. So, and then they have a new login bonus. So hopefully we get this as well when we get closer to 2.4. Um, but if you log in every single day, all the way through seven days, you get 10 red nucleuses. You get this new item, which we'll talk about in just a second. It's like a um, underwater uh, hover boat thingy. I don't know what those things are called. Right? When you're underwater, you see them in like James Bond films all the time. Um, and then they get 10 special vouchers. I've never seen Global ever get 10 special vouchers for free and they get the free skin for Mia and all that goodness. So that'll be very interesting. And then I'm not sure what these wings are, but maybe they're new, um, they're new flight wings finally for um uh for the jetpack. I can go back here a little bit. And here you go. You can see that underwater uh device being used in order to go uh scout around uh everywhere underneath. All right, and so I thought this was pretty cool too. Um, I don't know what the rewards that you get from this, but they're introducing a new treasure hunt system. I don't know if you could do this with friends. I assume you can because there's bosses and stuff there, but it's uh, you either have to take down certain targets or gather certain things in order to do treasure hunting. Um, so just think of it like um, the, the research, but for underwater. So they're, they're always adding more things for you to do every day, which is uh, a good thing. And for some, maybe it's a bad thing. <laughs> Too much to do, I hear from, from some people. Okay, so apparently we have these new world bosses, or they may be dungeon bosses. Don't quote me on that. Um, just kind of speculating a little bit, but we have a new magma boss, and then we have a new boombox water sword thingy that's going to kill you. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that, but uh, these might be part of new dungeons or they might be part of the world mechanic. All right, so I thought this was really cool too. Uh, I was just speculating a little bit, but it looks like uh, eventually uh, we may not get this in global, but it looks like we are getting a choice selector for uh, matrixes. So it allows you to uh, choose the matrix that you're really trying to go after. So if you've been saving, this might be the time to save. Just start saving until we see this in global and uh, you'll have a better chance of uh, stacking the ones that you already have. All right, that brings us to the new area. Now, the new area is extremely long-winded. They covered this for about 30 minutes straight. So I'm going to hyperclip through some of the cool parts, uh, maybe trim this down to about three minutes, put some music on it. hope you guys enjoy it. But be, right before we do that, one thing I do want to point out, there's a lot more new mechanics. Uh, not really going to touch on those because we're going to wait till we can actually uh, put our hands on it. But... What I do want to point out is they do show the map. Now, this map looks a little barren, but you will realize that there is three floors to um, to this area. There's the top surface area. 
then there's the, the inner level underwater area and then there's the underground volcano which is level three so um pretty cool some new teleports and uh looks like there's four um different things to explore on the bottom right so a lot of new ways to get probably red nucleuses and a bunch of other stuff so i'm gonna hyperclip through that i hope you guys enjoy uh thank you so much for checking out the video uh make sure you like and subscribe and uh i'll see you on the other side